the background of all we are telling in our film is related to the stolen babies. It's a, yeah, a very dark part of the Spanish recent history. Uh, after the war uh, with the dictatorship and until the arrival of the democracy in Spain, there were a lot of cases in hospitals relating to st st stolen babies and politics. At the beginning, it was something related to the winners of the war and the losers of the war, because the winners, they decide to, yeah, to stole babies from other families, from the non-good families. So this starts at that time, but it goes until nowadays because it's still open in Spain. We can read in the newspapers every two months uh, the, uh, yes, a mother talking about her case and fighting to get the information about what happened because it's still a wound, an open wound and yeah, it's very, yeah, it's, it's something related to our recent history and very, but very, something very violent and hard for our history also. So that's, this is the background. It, it was a long process and we, yeah, of course we talk with mothers, we read, because there are of course a lot of testimonies and books about, and we also read what happened in other countries, as Argentina, for example, Chile or Uruguay, in some other countries with dictatorships close to, yeah, to Spain, as these ones that I mentioned. So yeah, this, it was a very long process, but after, for me, it's important also to say that I'm a film director, so it's very important what we are talking about, but it's also important how and the decision, the formal decisions we take. If not, I will choose to be maybe a journalist or maybe someone who works with the law. But in, in my case, I work with the cinema and with the cinema history and with how I decide to portray the actresses and how I decide to tell the story in terms of form. So maybe we can talk about this. There is something related to how we change from one field to another, that it was in the orgi origin of the project. While we were writing uh, with our script writers, we, we decided to start from noir because the, the cinema history and the noir gave us a lot of tools for defining the, one of the characters. So we started from there, from the noir, uh, shooting in Madrid by night with a very hard story related to our recent history in Spain. But after, it's, it was for us very important to propose an encounter of the two characters. So at that point, we were thinking more in the melodrama tools because it's, it was very important and it is in the field very important to give to the characters, to the main characters, the possibility of the encounter and the possibility of them, one to each other, to tell their stories and to understand both of them are victims of the system, of the power. But we gave them the space in Portugal to this encounter and it's, that's, because, that's why we changed from noir to melodrama because it's also a, a root movie. We start in Madrid after San Sebastian, after all the trip to Portugal. So we change the landscape, but also we change the style. There are very important the different voices of the actresses, of the characters. 
It's a film also, it's a film about letters. One mother writing a letter to her son. But we have two mothers, so one of them, she decides to write in the classical way. Maybe because of the distance, because she needs the distance of the classical handwriting letter to approach to her son. But the other one, she decides to use the contemporary way of writing letters, who is our mobile phones and the voice notes. So we have these two types of letters in the film because it's, it's not easy for a mother to talk with a son in the 80, 18, uh, adult, uh, young one. So it's not so easy as you can go and talk with him because I'm, I'm son and I know how it was at that period talking about life. What are you going to do with your life? What are your desires? So they, both of them, they use this tool of the letters to approach because sometimes it's not so easy to approach directly talking. So they use this and after, after the letters, they feel that they can talk directly. And I also love a lot how the cinema history use letters. For example, for us it was very important in the process to remember Chantal Ackerman's News from Home. At, at, at that film, Chantal was in New York and the film is about the letters from New York to her mother, of her mother to New York. So we had a lot of films using letters in our mind while we were preparing. I love the letters, not only in cinema, also in literature. So it was for us a very useful tool for the narration. For me it was very clear when first I saw Anna, Anna Torrent, that for us in Spain it's like a phase of our history from Victor Erice to Saura to Amenabar and some other big names of our history. So I received first the, this video letter from Anna and for me it was wow, it, I was very impressed. And my producers, Isaki La Cuesta and Isa Campo, they are also filmmakers, they told me, Victor, we think that Cora is sana, don't be afraid. Because for me at the beginning was very, very maybe too much because it's so a big name in, in our history, but they encouraged me to, to don't be afraid. So, and after having and defining the character of Cora uh, with related to Anna, it was very easy to get to Vera and to Lola. And it was the same, Lola sent me a video and when, during the confination, when they opened the possibility to travel, I traveled immediately to Portugal because she, was, she lives in Portugal. So I traveled to her house in the country and we were there like two, three days reading, talking about the film, but also talking about other films and knowing each other. And for me it was like, okay, super clear after that encounter. I was uh, traveling uh, by train to my house and for me it was very clear, okay, we have the two characters and I know that they are super different, the two actresses and they, they are, of course, they are amazing, but with very different energies and power energies and for us it was super ideal for our characters because also our characters are very different. One is more faster woman and with a very like a violent uh, spirit and the other one lives in San Sebastian, piano teacher and more and, and, and something happening inside her. So, and they are like that. So for us was like a, a very important key moment when we arrived to them. And because of them, the, the film grew up because with talking and working with them, because of their experience, they are, in the case of Lola, Almodóvar, Rebollo, and some other big names of the Spanish and international uh, industry and cinema world. So their experience gave us a lot. And we had, at that period, 
a version of the script, but with our team, we work a lot with them during the shooting and yeah, learning a lot of their experience and getting their experience to our film.